In this video, we will cover the regular maintenance activities of Addix composite couplings. When maintained properly, Addix composite couplings will provide years of reliable operation and performance. Before taking any action, safety must first be addressed. Adorn the proper PPE and ensure the worksite is safe by performing lockout tagout. The flex elements should be inspected to ensure that there are no surface protrusions or bumps, severe buckling, or large cracks. Cracks in excess of 1 mm near the bolt holes may indicate failure. Misalignment is the most common cause of element failure. Addix couplings should always operate within the recommended alignment limits. Failed elements should be replaced before putting the coupling back in service. Inspect the hardware to ensure all bolts are intact and not bent or broken. A broken or bent bolt is usually caused by an over-torque event. Any bent or broken bolts should be replaced immediately. With the coupling still installed, the components of your Addix composite coupling can be visually inspected for possible damage. The composite center spacer should be checked for visual damage. Specifically, soft spots and large cuts or gouges could be areas of concern. These are typically caused by hard impacts to the rotating shaft. If the damaged area is larger than 2 inches, then the tube should be removed from service. As part of a preventative maintenance program, Rexnord recommends replacing the flexible elements and hardware every 5 years. If application conditions mandate replacement of the flex element sooner than 5 years, it is also recommended to replace the hardware at the same time. Flex element and hardware replacement can be performed without moving the hubs on the shaft. Beginning at one end, first ensure the spacer is properly supported. Then, using a pair of wrenches, remove all bolts, lock nuts, bushings, and washers at the supported end. Once all the hardware is removed, the flex element will slide out. Replace the flex element and hardware with new components. With the through holes of the new flex element aligned with the spacer and hub bolt holes, begin by inserting bolt and bushings through the large hole on the hub and through the spacer. On the other end, slide the washer over the bolt and loosely thread on the lock nut. The lock nuts will be tightened to the proper torque value after all the hardware is loosely assembled. Repeat this process for all available bolt holes on the hub and spacer. Once all hardware is loosely assembled, tighten the lock nuts to the torque values corresponding to the coupling model. These values are used for every lock nut on the coupling. Repeat this process on the other end of the coupling. To ensure good performance and lifetime of the Addix composite coupling, the coupling must be aligned properly. Shown here are the angular and axial alignment limits for Addix composite couplings. There are several methods to check alignment, including the use of laser alignment tools. In this video, angular alignment will be checked using a dial indicator and a caliper will be used to check axial alignment. To check axial alignment, a caliper should be used to measure the gap between the spacer and hub flanges on each coupling end. Without rotating the coupling, take four readings around the perimeter at 90 degree intervals as shown. For each coupling end, compare the average of the four readings to the specified axial alignment limit. If this calculated average exceeds the specified limit, the corresponding hub must be repositioned and axial alignment re-verified. To check angular alignment using a dial indicator, begin by squarely attaching the dial indicator to the center spacer shaft. The reading should be taken off the outside face of the coupling hub flange as shown. With the dial indicator set at zero, check the angular alignment by slowly rotating the shaft 360 degrees. 
recording the maximum and minimum readings of the dial indicator. If the range between the maximum and minimum values is greater than the specified limit, then the connecting equipment should be realigned to attain these limits. Once alignment is finalized and confirmed to be within limits, ensure that the set screws on both hubs have been properly tightened to their specified torque values. Thank you for viewing the Performing General Maintenance for Addicts Composite Couplings video. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com.